The Night's Watch had a wall of ice. I'm having a wall of spiders. Have you ever had the situation when after a longer absence you come back home and there's more work to do than you can actually handle? Well, this was the week for me. And while I had a plan what to do this week, something in the beginning came up. Yeah, my fault, I know. But this is not the topic. The stuff that I wanted to do needed to be postponed. I realized that a lot of my slings needed to be rehoused and that very badly. Anyway, because this video will be pretty long, this intro will be very short. So let's get to the video. All right, we have some updates when it comes to our mantids. You remember the three Philokrania paradoxa that I bought at the expo in Katowice. Yep. Look at that beauty. A male Philokrania paradoxa. They look so crazy. <laughs> Let's take a look at the wings. They are a bit deformed after molting, but this should be no issue. In case you are wondering if you are having a male or a female Philocrania paradoxa, you just need to take a look at the crown on their head. The males have a very thin crown, whilst the females have a more wider. Won't be shy. Boop. And there it goes. He just flew away. He's right there. Can climb on that. Don't fly away. So here for comparison we have a female. This one is not an adult. And also another mantis that molted during my absence, during my vacation. Here is a Sphodromantis aurea. Those can be pretty fast and aggressive. So if I counted that correctly, we have five segments on the abdomen, which means that this beautiful little green friend is a female. Another update, I mounted the mold of the Acanthoscuria geniculata in one from the last videos. I believe that was three weeks ago. And I checked if that is a male or a female and indeed this is a female. So if you take a look between the first book lungs, the upper book lungs, there is a fold, a flap, a pouch, name it however you want. This is the spermatheca, so yeah, this is definitely a female. And here is the beautiful beast that molted. She is absolutely enormous and she is hungry because she hasn't eaten anything after the mold. So let's give her a tasty dubia roach. Oh wow, the crunches. Ah, I knew this day will come, but yeah, that's the price if you are breeding tarantulas from time to time. Yeah, and after that I need to feed them, give them water, so this will be a busy afternoon. Alright everybody, this is the job for today. We need to rehouse those arboreals, those terrestrials, those fossorials, and those are still too small to rehouse, so a bit less work. I will try to capture every species that needs to be rehoused and yeah, let's get to work. Let's start with the 
Holotele longipes. Whoop! There he is. I catched him right before he crossed the edge of the table. Come on, yeah, he's inside. Oh, come on, first tarantula and... <laughs> this will be a tough afternoon, night, morning, depending on how long this will take. Uh, I need to make new, new labels. HL. Oh, that was... A bit tough for the first tarantula, but luckily now we have a small, gentle tarantula. This is a Brachypelma bemei, so this should be a bit easier. In opposition to to all the multiple slings that I have there, those this Brachypelma is not. Meant, uh, okay, it's not meant to be exchanged with other species. Okay, yeah, this one cooperates. <laughs> there we go. Even at this stage, you can see the colorations of the tarantula absolutely amazing. Apalopus formosus columbia gross. I don't have much experience with this species. Yeah, chilled. They look so colorful. Beautiful, beautiful sling. Oh, probably one of the staples of a tarantula collection. Okay, this sling already looks like the adult spider. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> no idea what kind of tarantula this is. Can you tell me? Okay, let's get this over with. Too chilled for an OBT. Absolutely too chilled. There's something off. Okay, and uh, no, 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 no! Don't get back inside there. Stay inside. And there is the feared OBT. Those are the guys from my first. Tarantuhala episode. So the Neo Holotele in say gold. Come on, show yourself, please. The Neo Holotele in say gold is absolutely one of my favorite species. So, we have two more terrestrial species to rehouse. This one is the Ceratogyrus marshali. There he comes. Run out. Take the sling pots there. There he is. This is the Nando Tripepi that molted a few episodes ago. Ooh, 
we got a little fighter here. Oh, he's already kicking hairs. They look absolutely crazy when they are an adult. They have so crazy hair. All right, let's get to the arboreals. For the first spider, we have the Caribena versicolor, one of the slings that I bred. Gosh, those caribenas are awesome. Caribenas are beautiful from sling till adulthood. Amazing spider. If you don't have one, get one. They are, they are absolutely awesome and cute. The Psalmopeus cambrigi. And those spiders can get really fast. Not as much like the Amazonius germani or the next spider that will come, but those can have quite some speed. I will play the safe game. I don't want to risk that this spider will run away just in case. Just in case a catch cup. Where are you, my little eight-legged friend? Huh? Yes. And now is the moment for you to run. They look very similar to the Psalmopeus irminia when they are small. So, here comes the king discipline. Okay, he is preparing to bolt. There, there, she, there he goes. No! Ah, he went inside. This is not your home. There. Yes. He's right there under the cock bark. Here's another cool one that needs to be rehoused. This is a Holconia murayensis. Oh, you see, he already crawls out. This species originates from Australia, if I am correct, so I'm halfway done. Why is everything happening at the same moment? <sighs> okay, back to work. Whoa, where did he go? This wall is pretty big. This would be a nice D&D spell or magic card Wall of Spiders Create 8, 1, 2 spider defenders of reach or something like that The last one will probably run away That's, f that's a sure <laughs> Where's the spider? Oh. Okay Try to make a sneak attack. <laughs> this is what spiders do. <laughs> they sneak attack you when you are not watching. You hear that arachnophobes? When you're sleeping, they are watching. Oh well, he will show up. Done! So as you can see, we managed to rehouse a few spiders this week. It's really astounding how much work accumulated throughout the week and that's partly my fault because i felt it would be a nice idea to breed a few species but this is part of the hobby am i right and there's still a lot of work to do and that needs to be done this week probably the day after i finish editing or during the editing, not sure. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, 
what you want to see in future videos and as always thank you for watching Taranto Hala out OBT OBT why do you have to threaten me